Greetings YouTube. Today's news item comes out of Bay Minette, Alabama. Apparently, a municipal judge is telling uh, mis nonviolent offenders, uh, so I'll read the actual first couple lines. Authorities may uh, say nonviolent offenders in May Bay Minette now have a new choice. Go to jail or go to church every Sunday for a year. Uh, Operation Restore Our Community begins next week. Uh, the city judge will dis, uh, let misdemeanor offenders choose to work off their sentence in jail and pay a fine or go to church every Sunday for a year. If offenders select church, they will be allowed to pick the place of worship, but must check in weekly with the pastor and the po um, police departments. If, one of the, if the one-year church attendance program is completely, completed successfully, offender's case will be dismissed. Bay Minette Police Chief Mike Rowland says the program could change the lives of people heading down the wrong path. So far, 56 churches are participating. So, for all of you small government conservatives out there in the world, could you explain to me how this is legal? Isn't this absolute, bold-faced, government-sanctioned religious indoctrination? This judge is requiring people to go to ch church. So they have a choice. They can go to jail or they go to church. If they go to church, that's state-mandated religious services. That seems like a huge and unbelievable uh, breach of the separation of church and state. You know that, that whole wall concept between church and state? Well, right here, that would be a violation of it. I cannot fathom how this is not a violation of the First Amendment. I'm just dumbfounded. I've read this article. I had to read it a couple of times. I had to make a couple of other references to make sure that I wasn't look, reading some kind of stealth onion article. Nope, this is real. Um, these people really think this is a good idea. I disagree with them. I think this is a really bad idea. I think the government should not be mandating people attend church for any reason under any circumstances. I, I'm just, wow, this is such a bad idea. Um, so I'm, I'm really interested in hearing what other Americans and people from outside of America have to say about this. Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's crossed a line? Obviously, I think it's run across that line at a hundred bloody miles an hour. Um, I think that this is unconstitutional, and I think that the people involved in this program should be dismissed. They, they should not have the jobs they currently have. A judge that involves himself, herself in this program should just automatically say, okay, I'm not a judge anymore. I cannot be an impartial uh, adjudicator of the law. I have obviously shown my allegiance to religion in a way that is really, really unhealthy. So I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing what people have to say, because frankly, folks, this one's a puzzler. <laughs>